its third year. Former President Trump, Russian President Vladimir Putin says he'll only end this war if Russia keeps the Ukrainian territory it has already claimed and Ukraine abandons its bid to join NATO. Are Putin's terms acceptable to you? First of all, our veterans and our soldiers can't stand this guy. They can't stand him. They think he's the worst commander in chief, if that's what you call him, that we've ever had. They can't stand him. So let's get that straight. And they like me more than just about any of them. And that's based on every single bit of information. As far as Russia and Ukraine, if we had a real president, the president that knew, that was respected by Putin, he would have never, he would have never invaded Ukraine. A lot of people are dead right now, much more than people know. You know, they talk about numbers. You can double those numbers, maybe triple those numbers. He did nothing to stop it. In fact, I think he encouraged Russia from going in. I'll tell you what happened. He was so bad with Afghanistan. It was such a horrible, embarrassment, most embarrassing moment in the history of our country that when Putin watched that and he saw the incompetence that he should, he should have fired those generals like I fired the one that you mentioned, uh, so he's got no love loss, but he should have fired those generals. No general got fired for the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country, Afghanistan, where we left billions of dollars of equipment behind. We lost 13 beautiful soldiers and 38 soldiers were obliterated. And by the way, we left people behind too. We left American citizens behind. When Putin saw that, he said, you know what? I think we're going to go in and maybe take my, this was his dream. I talked to him about it, his dream. The difference is he never would have invaded Ukraine, never. Just like Israel would have never been invaded in a million years by Hamas. You know why? Because Iran was broke with me. I wouldn't let anybody do business with them. They ran out of money. They were broke. They had no money for Hamas. They had no money for anything. No money for terror. That's why you had no terror at all during my administration. This place, the whole world is blowing up under him. President Biden. Never heard so much malarkey in my whole life. Look, the fact of the matter is that we're in a situation where, let's take the last point first. Iran attacked American troops, kill, uh, caused brain damage for a number of these troops, and he did nothing about it Recent, not when he was president. They, they attacked. He said they're just having headaches. That's all it is. But he didn't do a thing when the attack took place, number one. Number two, we got over 100,000 Americans and others out of, of uh, Afghanistan during that airlift. Number three, we found ourselves in a situation where if you take a look at what Trump did in Ukraine, he, this guy told Ukraine, told Trump, do whatever you want and do whatever you want. And that's exactly what Trump did to Putin, encourage him, do whatever you want. And he went in. And listen to what he said when he went in. He was going to take Kiev in five days, remember? Because it's part of the old Soviet Union. That's what he wanted to reestablish. Kiev, and he in fact didn't do it at all. He didn't wasn't able to get it done, and they've lost over they've lost thousands and thousands of troops, five hundred thousand troops. President Trump, I never come said back to that. You for, for one minute, I just want to go back to my original question, which yeah. is: Are Putin's terms acceptable to you? Keeping the territory no, in acceptable. Ukraine? No, they're not acceptable. But look, this is a war that never should have started. If we had a leader in this war, he led everybody along. He's given $200 billion now or more to Ukraine. He's given $200 billion. That's a lot of money. I don't think there's ever been anything like it. Every time that Zelensky comes to this country, he walks away with $60 billion. He's the greatest salesman ever. And I'm not knocking him. I'm not knocking anything. I'm only saying he, the money that we're spending on this war, and we shouldn't be spending. It should have never happened. I will have that war settled between Putin and Zelensky as president-elect before I take office on January 20th. I'll have that war settled. People being killed so needlessly, so stupidly, and I will get it settled, and I'll get it settled fast before I take office. You President know, Biden, you have a minute. The fact is that Putin is a war criminal. He's killed thousands and thousands of people. 
And he has made one thing clear. He wants to reestablish what was part of the Soviet empire, not just a piece. He wants all of Ukraine. That's what he wants. And then you think he'll stop there? Do you think he'll stop when he, if he, if he takes Ukraine? What do you think happens to Poland? What do you think of Belarus? What do you think happens to those NATO countries? And so if you want a war, you ought to find out what he's going to do, because if, in fact, he does what he says and walks away, and by the way, all that money we give Ukraine are from weapons we make here in the United States. We give them the weapons, not the money at this point. And, the, and our NATO allies have produced as much funding for Ukraine as we have. That's why, it's, that's why we're strong. Thank you. Moving on to the Middle East. In October, Hamas 